Have you ever tried to figure out how to detect fetch requests in PHP, only to feel lost in the code? It can be a bit tricky, right? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to simplify this process and show you exactly how to detect fetch requests in PHP. I totally understand your frustration. Many developers face this challenge when trying to differentiate between AJAX requests and fetch requests. You're definitely not alone in this, and it's a common question in the PHP community. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I detect requests from the Fetch API in PHP? They mentioned they were already using a method to detect AJAX requests, but wanted to know how to handle Fetch requests similarly. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So what's the difference between AJAX and Fetch requests? While both are used to make asynchronous requests, Fetch requests have a different way of being identified in PHP. Understanding this distinction is key to solving our problem. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that will make your PHP coding even smoother. You won't want to miss it. To detect Fetch API requests in PHP, the user can start by checking the request headers. Unlike traditional AJAX requests, Fetch API requests do not automatically set the X requested with header. Instead, the user can look for the content type header. Fetch requests often use application JSON or text plain. This can be a reliable indicator of a Fetch request. The user can implement this check in their PHP code. They can create a condition that checks if the content type header matches one of the expected values. Additionally, the user can combine this check with the existing AJAX detection method for a more comprehensive solution. This way, both fetch and traditional AJAX requests can be identified. Finally, the user can use these checks to set a variable that indicates whether the request is from fetch or AJAX. This can help in handling requests appropriately in their application. Fun fact, the Fetch API is a modern replacement for XML HTTP request, making it easier to work with requests. It's like upgrading from a flip phone to a smartphone. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach to detect Fetch requests in PHP is to modify the Fetch call in your JavaScript. By adding specific headers, you can signal that the request is coming from the Fetch API. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always validate your requests on the server side. This ensures that you're only processing legitimate fetch requests, keeping your application secure. And there you have it. You now know how to detect fetch requests in PHP. Remember, understanding the headers is crucial. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips, and don't forget to check out our next video for more PHP tricks.